Okay, so this is going to be my second video here on YouTube. You probably noticed right away I've shaved. Uh, my beard used to go clear off camera. Over two thirds is gone. It goes to about here. See? Mustache pretty much gone when it. I could have handlebarred it. <laughs> uh, cheeks shaved again. Now, for a while, I've been growing out the facial hair quite long, so friends and family are going to be shocked by it and wonder what was up. Uh, and some people may consider my answer a bit of a sellout, but I kind of admire sellouts, really. <laughs> Not that I would never do what a sellout does. I mean, most people called sellouts are things like some band somebody likes that accepts a bunch of money and their sound changes for an album. Big deal, so they changed their sound for an album, maybe hired some other writers. They got a load of cash. They'll go back to making whatever music when they feel like it. So sellouts get a bad rap. Did I really sell out? That's uh, up to you guys. See, I'm into Japanese culture. I would like to at the very least be a translator, maybe do some web page programming that has something to do with Japan, or if things went really well, I have a crazy long shot of a dream in mind that involves Japan and making some good money, not like being famous or anything, but you know, making some good money, doing something I'd enjoy and being happy. So Japanese culture, facial hair ain't isn't uh, popular. And my super awesome pen pal that's been the best thing to ever happen in my life. She's given me encouragement during some of the worst times. She's really taught me how to smile again. Uh, warmed my heart up. Given me hope. Supported me through college. You know, so as everything's going horribly wrong, I'm losing houses, cars, friends, you name it. Family, friends dying. Barely maintaining a 4.0 GPA, and at some points I did drop to a 3.9, and I think the lowest was like a 3.8, but the cumulative is like 3.96, whatever. She stuck around. She stuck around, and she encouraged me. Uh, always had something positive to say, and I really owe my success to her, because without her in the picture, and all that still going on, especially some of the stuff with my friends, I would have gave up. And if I didn't give, give up, I would have flunked some classes. I don't think I even ever dropped out of a single class. Because I know you can drop out to keep your grade up, but I don't know, my mind's a mess right now because things are still going crazy. I'm recording from a basement, a basement that's used as storage. That's why I look so cluttered, kind of like something out of Hoarders. Uh, it's not my place. Uh, I don't have a house or a car right now. I will again. I've rebuilt my life multiple times, so it's just a matter of time. But um, due to some paperwork mix-ups that the college did, mixing me up with another student, that student got their debt paid and was able to take their transcripts and go on to another college when they should have owed quite a bit of money. My money disappeared, and I owe what they owed. Now, lazy people working in a community college business office, they, they don't like to be pointed out that, you know, they messed up. So they fudge some paperwork here and there, and then they get mouthy with you when you call in and try and fix it and say, hey, look, it's an obvious mistake. Let's all work together and see if maybe uh, we can get this straightened out. They've got it so perfectly covering their butts. I have no legal recourse. I can't get my transcripts, and I graduated with an associate's degree and a 3.96 GPA, 4.0, more than one term. Honor society's the whole bit. Can't get those transcripts to go to another college. Now, I could try going to another college, but they've already done some things with some college they're in touch with or close to the area to make sure they don't want to accept me. So my only option, without any legal recourse, is to try and come up with money. 
after all of my money disappeared from my account because of their mistake. It's not looking good. I'm still trying, though. I mean, I ain't going to give up. I am not. I keep using ain't. I got to quit doing that. That's this is a recent habit out of nowhere. Anyway, I'm not going to give up. I don't give up easy. I, I really feel like I want to, and about the time the pen pal came into my life and started encouraging me, it was about the time I was sick of over 30 years of just trying my hardest rebuilding my life and always, always failing. I mean, I would rebuild my life, right? You know, new house, new car, friends, career, debts paid up. And before I could even relax or sigh in relief, all the crap was starting over again. Things like my identity's been stolen and other, other things. And I was making pretty good money in my career before the identity theft. So, I just, I got tired of rebuilding. I mean, you can only rebuild so many times. You can only make yourself a success so many times without ever being able to enjoy it and thinking that you should keep going. I mean, not once really enjoying it. I'd get around to just starting on working with the mental stress problems and the last little bit of debt and maybe get the debt paid off. Still working, you know, beginning working on all I've been through. And boom, reset, rebuilding again. And then she came around, positive, no matter what, uh, all the good qualities of Japanese society, and she's a, not exhibited a single one of the bad ones yet. Great, very encouraging, very upbeat, made me feel young again. Anytime things were going horrible, read one of her letters or her emails, and then I'm cheered up. So she was giving me strength again. She's rebuilding me, you know. Great person. I really owe her a lot. And there are so many people, like friends and acquaintances, that'll say, oh, he's a strong guy, he's a strong guy. Look at all he's been through. Look at all he's, he's done and how he keeps rebuilding himself and he never gives up. They don't, they don't listen when I say, hey, look, I was ready. I was finally going to give up and let it all win. And they don't listen because I didn't. And I didn't because of her. I mean, she, she, she's inspiration. She's amazing. Uh, the fact that I can laugh and smile anymore is purely her doing. Uh, she's amazing. Well, she wanted me to cut my facial hair. So I cut this much. We'll see. If she likes it, I'll stick this way. Hopefully she likes this much. Have a feeling she's going to say, nope, all of it. At which point, yeah. I'm going to cut all of it. I need to eventually anyway if I'm going to be involved with Japanese society. It'll just make the people I deal with more comfortable. Uh, a lot about being cleanly, you know, in Japan. And really, with this cut this way, there's, there's no chance of getting food while I eat. I mean, I can even slurp noodles and it doesn't spray all over my beard and mustache. So, no issue. It's clean. Cut this way. But the thought's still there in the back of their mind. You know, so you got to dress the part. you got to act the part. And if I'm going to make it anywhere ever in Japan, which is, you know, a crazy dream, but I'm trying, then the facial hair is probably going to have to go. I would like to keep it for now. We'll see if she says cut it. I'm cutting it. If she lets me keep it, you know, saying, hey, that's actually pretty good. I'll keep it for a while, but when I'm seriously trying at a job, it's going to go. Uh, so, I don't know. Sell out, maybe. Maybe not. Video's already longer than I wanted. I'm probably going to go do a video response to someone else now. Just figured I'd explain in case people notice later on, hey, your facial hair is totally different. Uh, maybe one of these times getting behind the camera, you'll see me in a really nice house. I'm working at it. I mean, I'm, I'm putting in bids, I'm looking at places, I'm finding fixer-uppers that can be beauties. You know, I may be in a, in a bad position, but you can still pull off some amazing things from the bottom of the barrel. I've done it, and I've rebuilt myself quite well before. I'm, I'm going to do it again. It's just a matter of time. Don't give up, you know? 
and she came around just when I needed her. I hope I keep her happy and keep her around at least as a pen pal, you know? It's just amazing to have someone like that in your life, and I really can't say enough good things about the norms of Japanese culture. Well, thanks for viewing. Hopefully it wasn't boring. I went over the 10-minute mark. Bye.